Okay, uh, I thought about trying to explain in an email what, what all this Luxembourg stuff's about, and I decided it's just too much, so I'd do a video. Um, so this is the new boat that we're fitting out. This is a 60 foot by 12 foot broad beam. So we just had the shell built, lining it out now and fitting it out. And I wanted some sort of like different aspects in here. So um, these are the uh, steps coming into the boat from the outside and I needed a banister. So I had these old bits of banister kicking around and I thought I'd experiment with uh, a process called Lichtenberg. So now that's the banister. And now if we go inside, what a lovely day. I'll um, explain what it is, how it works, and show some of my other silly little projects. Um, it's quite an eccentric place, as most people know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so, what we have here, these are some of the other, this is another banister, um, which I made. And that was originally to go here. Um, rather alarmingly, it shrunk and it's too short. So I thought that would make a nice little exhibit just on, on a wall as a banister, but without the stairs. And there's another one there. It's another short little banister. <laughs> but, uh, and that used a slightly different technique um, and then you just kind of like well I kind of get, get carried away with it really um, this was a test with using a new um, a slightly new process quite proud of that and again this one again using a I'll try not to get my and I'll just varnish these and then again that one use again a completely different process so all of these would be available for people to see what else we got in here sorry it's a really really disgustingly untidy workshop this is the headboard uh, we've made to go on the new boat But as it's a headboard, I suppose I should put it sideways, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, <laughs> wish I hadn't done that now. Uh, that mirror, I made that a couple of years ago. Now, this is the project that I'm working on. Well, actually, I'll show you that in a second. But I'll show you some of the other things that I was experimenting with. I love experimenting with very thin plywood. There's, there's three ways you can do it. You can use softwood, hardwood, and plywood. You could actually use... Um, MDF as well, but it doesn't turn out very well. So that was um, I tried to, that was the start of an idea for a, a very long thin picture frame um, that I was then going to put a, a spoon in there. Um, oh, that's a long story. Doesn't matter. <laughs> this was experimenting again with different um, electrolytes and also different stains um, and different ways of, of colouring. And again, this is just hardwood faced plywood, very thin hardwood faced plywood. These are two experiments that I was doing. This one half stained and half um, not. This one half varnished and half not. Um, and I really, I don't know, I just kind of like the, the feel of that, the way it, it cuts in. Uh, well, I've got some little bits here. These are on hardwood. Little bits of hardwood. I'm going to do something sort of with those kind of like parallel lines I thought sort of like parallel lines uh, these are blocks of joist actually from this building off cuts uh, when I built this and put that floor in upstairs <coughs> I had some off cuts and what I really like about this one I'll just show you about this one I don't know if you can tell is the way that that knot indents in there that's nature does that and then what well, nature does this as well this one um, is filled with a photoluminescent um, compound and resin. So, I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, we're going to the, going to the toilet. Oh, 
and here we are in the dark and uh, actually in the toilet <laughs> Uh, but that's, I just love the, it brings out that, that kind of organic quality of it. Um, which is replicated on the bigger one there. That's also got photoluminescent inside. And that's a big joist from there. Um, but again, it's just, and the way it's burnt into the knot as well. It's kind of like... Yes, anyway, sorry, yes. Just getting a bit carried away. Um, these were designed as corner pieces. Um, what I tried to do with this, because that's only very fine, um, I'll explain very briefly how the Lichtenberg works. The Lichtenberg works by creating a liquid electrolyte. There's various things you can use, ranging from salt water, which is an electrolyte, to um, bicarbonate of soda, or there's a number of other electrolytic compounds that you can mix with the water. You paint that on, and you put a probe there and a probe there, and you connect it to about uh, 2,500 volts, <laughs> which is quite high. And they use it to do its stuff. And you can influence it a little bit, but you can't really control it. It's, it, it works exactly the same way as nature does. This looks a bit grainy at the moment because it needs a, a coat of varnish, another coat of varnish. Um, but it is completely as nature does it. And on this, I burnt all the way through. There's another one up there. I did that with that one as well. Um, that's an amazing kind of, that's just, that really just got carried away. This is a little bit more basic. <coughs> but again, if we walk over to the toilet. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed doing this. This is, um, and then we walk into, into here. It's just, um, yeah, photoluminescent or glow in the dark and there's two different colours there, there's the blue aqua and the green and it just, and it's, so this was designed really for a window corner there was, I did two, one for each corner of a window uh, and then sold the house <laughs> so there's no way for it to go now um, so that's that and that, that was the other corner so if we do, you kind of like get the idea Yes, or maybe not. Right, uh, so let's put that back in there. Yeah, so I could put a little frame around that. Uh, cut those to the wall. This was really, really odd. Doing a burn on here, and this is how, when I took the wire brush to it, all of that center part came away. And, and it just, it just symbolises kind of like birth, and I hope nobody would think that that's sort of dirty or smutty. I think it's beautiful. It's nature, and it's it's kind of like woman, and it's it screams kind of like birth, and and just a new dawn and hope and everything. Well, to me anyway. But you know, that's that's me. So right, let me show the uh, the new project that I'm doing. Um, when I first moved to Sheffield, I didn't have any money. Um, and I moved here because I got kicked off my PhD stream and I couldn't find a supervisor. The only place I could find a supervisor was Sheffield. Uh, so that was back in the 80s, early 80s, 1984 I first came up here. And um, I didn't have any money at all and I lived on a, a, a sort of like a manky old mattress. And the first big thing I ever bought for myself, I was really, really proud to be able to do it because um, I don't like being in debt. I really don't like being in debt to people or organisations or anything. So the first thing I bought myself was a bed, and that's the frame and the mattress, and that was in 1994. So that's 22 years ago. And I've still got the mattress, I still sleep on the mattress, I turn it over every now and then. And this is the bed. And there is somewhere on here, there is a date. There's the date. I don't know if I can just get it on film, because I'm stretching my arm. Look at that, 1994. That's when I got this. It's my Christmas present to myself. And uh, so now we're building this one for the boat. This is a Super King. Um, and that's just the headboard. And then I'm going to have runners made out of joists and things like that. So the bed frame, this is the bed frame. This is the, um, this is the headboard. That's the uh, foot board or the bit at the other end anyway. Now the difference between these two at the moment, I've done the Lichtenberg burns. Um, and they've turned out really, I think, 
I'm, I'm quite pleased. In fact, I'm very, very pleased with the way these have turned out using two different electrolytes. But this one I've actually started to finish. Uh, so I've brushed it all down while I brushed it. And I filled it with photoluminescent resin. So you can't really see that <coughs> at the moment. Um, and yeah, it's dry. Oh dear God. But let's go to the toilet again. Ouch. <laughs> So we put that there, and that's again using the aqua. Oh, I just love the way that. I should have cleaned the toilet floor for this. So that's the foot of the book. So as you look at the bottom of the bed, that's the foot that you'll see. And this is actually slightly photoluminescent as well. Can you see that? Just ever so, ever so slightly. Like, that's amazing. I just love that. Right. So <laughs> that's the. Am I doing this? Uh, <laughs> Alright, so that's the base of the bed. This is the headboard, as I said. And I've done this both sides. This is the bit, the mattress will be here. Um, so I'm not, I haven't bothered doing this bit. Um, but this is the bits that you'll see. And then the back, if you had the bed in the middle of the room, oops, wow. This is the back, which needs a little bit of a sand and, uh, and filling with resins. And I've done this really, really deep. I don't know if you can actually tell quite how deep I've done those burns. And that's by using a really, really um, heavyweight. Uh, that was using 5,000 volts and using a, um, a super conductive uh, electrolyte. And the reason I wanted these really deep gouges in here was again to fill with the photoluminescent now I don't know quite whether it'll work, but I, I kind of, oh and this is the back of the headboard, which is again just absolutely stunningly beautiful. This isn't art, this is science meets nature. You can influence it, but you can't control it. And that's the beautiful thing of it. It's completely unique and completely random. And it ba it's based on what's called the chaos theory. And this is how nature works. Nature will always take the path of least resistance. Uh, sadly, humans forgot to do that a number of years ago. We always feel that progress is measured by our ability to complicate simplicity. Um, so, yes. A little bit of philosophy there. Um, so that's, that's the headboard. So I will fill this with the um, photoluminescent uh, resin and then varnish it. These are the side runners for the um, the bed. So and then the slats go on the on the, t the screw into the top there. Guess where we're going? Now it's not really. Let me just come over here. Ever so ever so subtle. Again, this will be sanded down. But ever so subtle, just gentle. I didn't want it brightly screaming out loud because it's along the side of the bed. Right, so that's the current project. Um, that should, provided I don't manage to completely destroy the workshop, that should be finished uh, next week. I've got a brand new uh, memory foam mattress um, that I can put on it. Um, just to, uh, if we're going to show it off, because um, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to use my mattress because it's my mattress. I've had it 22 years. It's still a good mattress. Um, so that's that's it. That's pretty much where I'm at at the moment. These are all my my little experiments, and um, and the Lichtenberg thing is, is just uh, okay. Yes, it's dangerous. <laughs> There's no denying the fact that using anywhere between two and a half uh, thousand to five thousand volts is dangerous but as always you know, safety is my number one priority so I, I, I put a little sign up unfortunately I couldn't get one that said 2400 volts so I had to modify it myself but there we are so that's 
that's that. So essentially it's um, passing high voltage electricity through wood and burning it via an electrolyte and then wire brushing the ash off, sanding it down and that's what you're uh, left with. That's the result that you're left with. And I, I actually do, I do think that this represents the best that nature gives us because this is nature. And all this is uh, demonstrating is using science in order to pull out what nature does. That's all. Oh, crikey, I've been whistling on. So, yes, sorry. Um, that's sort of nearly 16 minutes of your life that you'll never get back. But that's the Lichtenberg, and this is what I've been playing with. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that is that. <laughs>